Hello everyone. We're getting ready to release our Sage Business Works version 2021 and we are so excited about one of the new features in the program we could not wait to share this with you. This is something you, our valued customers, have been asking for and we want to let you know that when you ask we do listen. So what are we so excited about? Version 2021 will now allow you to select different color styles for your default program, as well as define a default color scheme for each of your companies. If you have multiple companies, this will allow you to color code your companies to make it easier to identify your company and also eliminate confusion of posting into the wrong company. Another exciting feature is that the default styles can be set to be program specific, company specific, and even user specific. This allows each user to select a color scheme that works best for them. I think we're ready to take a look at the new version 2021. The first time you log in to Sage Business Works version 2021, you will see a little different style and color scheme it's pretty close to what you're used to, but let's look at the styles we have available for our default program. To set the default program style, we're going to go to Utilities and then System Preferences. In the System Preferences, you're going to see a new section that's been added for the selected style. If we click on the Style button, we can scroll down and see all the styles that are available to select. Now you want to play around with these a little bit because some of the styles may not be for you, others you may just fall in love with. Let's go ahead and select Onyx Blue and say OK and OK. The next time I launch the program, it's going to launch with an onyx blue color style. Let's look at that. The next time I've logged in, I can now see that my color scheme has changed to the onyx blue. Let's log in. This is my onyx blue style. I have this set to be my program default. Now, if you have multiple companies and you would like to have the color style or color scheme be different for each one of your companies, we simply allow that setting in the Utility System Preferences. Let's go here again. Utilities, System Preferences. In our Selected Style section, we now have an option to allow company style changes. If we place a check mark in that box, this is going to allow us to select a style specific to the company. Let's say OK and save that change. To set my specific company style, we would need to go to Utilities and then Company Information. Here, we set the style we would like for our company. Let's say that I have two companies, Sample and Demo, and I would like to have a different color scheme to identify each company. In my example, I'm going to keep my Sample company as the Onyx Blue, but I'm going to change my Demo company to maybe uh, a green color, so uh, Metropolis UI Green. Say OK and OK. Now, if I switch to my sample company, I'm still going to be in the Onyx Blue. When I switch to my demo company, it's now going to be the green. Now, if I would like to have both of my companies open at the same time, it's easy to identify that my sample company is using the Onyx Blue and my demo company is using the green. I believe you're starting to see how really cool this is. Let's go to the next level of user preferences. Now the user preference is specific to the user, not the company, but the user. So you may have different color schemes selected for your company, 
but as a user, if you go in and select a color scheme specific to you as a user, it's going to apply that color scheme to all companies. So just wanted to point that out. To allow the user to set their color scheme, we go to Utilities, System Preferences. In the System Preferences, in the Selected Style section, we have the checkbox to allow users to change their style. We select that and say OK. Now, as a user, we could go into our User Preferences and select the color scheme that we would like to have. I'm going to log in as a user, Sage. Under the Utilities, User Preferences, at the very top, I'm going to select my style. And I would like to have a purple color, Windows 10 Purple. So now that I've saved that setting, when I log in, to any company, I'm going to have the purple style. So again, the user preference is a color scheme specific to the user. It's not the user per company. It's specific to the user. The color scheme for the company is specific to each company. And then the program color scheme is just a program default color scheme. Let's look at that one more time. If I log in as user manager, manager has selected to use company specific color schemes. For demo, manager uses green. For sample, Manager uses the Onyx Blue. Our Sage user has selected user preferences of the Windows Purple. Any company that our user Sage logs into is going to be using the purple color. A few things I'd like to point out. When you're deciding to select the color scheme, play around with them a little bit. At first, you'll like green, purple, blue, but play around with it. Go into the different tasks to take a look at how these screens are going to display. For example, in our Onyx Blue, if we go into General Ledger, Entries, Post to Journals, I'm going to select a correcting type. When I click on the lookup, it's a little difficult to see all the transactions. However, if you click on them, it's easy to see. So you can arrow down and make it easy that way. But just be aware that because of the alternating color scheme, it may be difficult to see with the color scheme that you've selected. If we do this with our green, if we do the same task and select the correcting and use the lookup, we can see it's a little bit easier to see all the transactions. If you decide to select the Onyx Blue, it's a really great color scheme. Just be aware that you may see in some areas of the program, it may look a little bit different. In our exciting sneak peek preview of our Sage BusinessWorks version 20. 21. I also want to mention about one other neat surprise that we've included, and that is the ability to use the import quote or sales order feature to update an existing quote or order. If you do go into your order entry, transfer, import, sales orders, you'll have a new checkbox to delete existing quotes and orders. What this will do is if you're wanting to update an existing sales order with the same order number, by checking this box, when you import in that updated sales order, it's going to remove the original sales order and replace it with the new one. 
if you have a web store or e-commerce and you bring orders in from your uh, web, this is a great new feature. You may want to mention this new feature to the company that handles your website. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video. We hope you are as excited about the version 2021 as we are here at SAGE. There's a few more new features that are also included in the version 2021. Make sure you stay tuned to the SAGE City notifications for any updates about the upcoming release of SAGE BusinessWorks version 2021.